dear students in this class we are discussing about the relationship between electron and holes densities in extrinsic semiconductor okay so now you know how we can we can get the extrinsic semiconductor when the impurities added with the intrinsic semiconductor we can get extrinsic semiconductor so based on that idea let's see that that intrinsic semiconductor if doped with that pentavalent impurity we can get n type semiconductor in n type semiconductor number of electrons value will be more that means that the electron concentration is more the next one like that intrinsic semiconductor if doping with the trivalent material then here we can get p type semiconductor in p type semiconductor generally number of holes value will be more that means holes concentration is more okay therefore anyhow we whether first case or second case generally here the recombinations occur so the recombination is nothing but electrons will be collide with the um, holes okay so therefore whether the electrons value increasing or holes value increasing that the recombination rate also increasing so we can say that uh, what is that uh, rate of recombinations so the rate of recombination that is n bar that is it depends upon number of holes concentration and the number of electrons concentration so we can write that n bar directly proportional to ne into m bar therefore n bar is equal to that constant that is r then ne into nh that constant special name we can say that is a recombination so recombinations coefficient okay this is for especially that is extrinsic semiconductor suppose in the case of intrinsic semiconductor we can say in the intrinsic semiconductor number of electrons value and number of holes value should be same so uh, uh, i can take as that is a ni so therefore r r into ni into I, ni so we can write as r into ni square that is equation number 2 therefore at the equilibrium condition we can say equilibrium condition is nothing but say for example it is like a crystal in the crystal that is a lattice point the the distance between two lattice two lattice should be constant so we can say at the equilibrium conditions equation number 1 is equal to number equation number 2 so therefore r into ne into nh is equal to r into ne square so r r will be cancelled so we can get ne nh is equal to ne square okay students this is very very important equation it will be useful for the solving more problems in semiconductor okay thank you